Hello guys, today I want to show you an example of invocable controller with kind of three in one or multiple in one short tips on one of the possibilities how to structure your routes and controllers. In this case, we're talking about an open source project called Advising App, which I reviewed already on this channel from other angles. And we're looking at one controller called View Public User Profile Controller. It has only one method to view user's profile. And let's see how it is called from the very beginning, so you may learn a thing or two along the way. So the routes, I always start with routes, and this is the route. Profiles user, and here you can provide the field for route model binding, which database column to find in the URL. So the URL will be profiles slash, for example, Povilas, my name, or whatever slug like Taylor, Jeffrey, or other nickname, which will be a slug, this field in the database. Then that controller is invocable. As you can see, there's no method specified here. It's just URL and controller. Then that controller has one method called underscore underscore invoke. It's also called single action controller. I will link in the description below documentation about that and my few videos on that topic. And as every controller method in Laravel, it may accept request, but then also this is for route model binding user model, which under the hood will execute user equals user where this field find or in fact find or fail. If it doesn't find the user, then it will throw 404 error page. And this seems to be a simple method of just viewing the data with a lot of different fields. But the third thing I wanted to emphasize, so route model binding with slug, then invocable single action controllers. And also I want to show private methods in the same controller. So if you have some kind of repeating logic in your controller method, it's totally fine to not create some kind of class service model or stuff like that but rather just create a private method in the same controller like in this case for example we need operation to format hours with collection and then we use that multiple times inside the same controller method with this format hours so this is how your main method of controller remains a bit shorter also avoiding repeatable code so yeah three quick tips about routing and controller structure for this simple use case. What do you think? Do you use invocable controllers like this? Or would you do the same thing a bit differently? Let's discuss in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel to get more tips like this one and see you guys in other videos.